Good evening, good evening, good evening. What's going on? It's like uh, nine something. Just put my son to sleep. The missus is asleep. I really couldn't sleep myself. So I'm just on the treadmill doing a little walking, doing a little reading. Um, I would show it to you. Well, I'll show it to you. It's gonna be, it's gonna come in backwards. But the book I picked up, I'm trying to master my craft, it's called uh, Always Be, Always Be Closing. Um, it says number one international bestseller. Don't know if it's true or not. It could be, it's a really good book so far, but uh, the reason why I got it, is like I said, I wanted to master my craft. And um, I really think that, I, mean, I haven't gotten too deep into it, I just started it. But I think everyone should read a book like this because even though you might not be in sales per se, um, but you need to sell yourself. And why not know how to do that? You might not want to be in a profession where you want to get paid for it, but just think about it. Like you have to sell yourself when you are going for an interview. You know, you're gonna sit down with him, her, them, the company, whoever the case may be, and you gotta present yourself in a manner where they're absolutely foolish for not taking you on the spot. And you let him and her, him and her know that if they do not take you, that they're missing out. You know, you're doing them a favor. Uh, just think about when you're on a date with uh, someone that you want to go further with. You gotta sell yourself on why they need to lock arms with you and be with you for the rest of your life. And just even think about selling, like say if you were to go see a salesman yourself like a car dealer, you know, you don't wanna go in there and uh, being all excited and letting him or her know that you're excited and you need the car or whatever the case may be because then they're gonna rope you. You know, learn how to be a salesman yourself. And you know, you make sure that you're working with the right person who's gonna take care of you and actually wants to take care of you, takes care of the vehicle, and after the purchase is made, that they're still willing there to be there for you. So that's another thing that I was thinking about is to be a salesman on that aspect, is to counteract other salesmen. You know, it kind of makes sense to want you to be in control of the conversation. And being in control of the conversation helps you be in control of your life. So that's why I think everyone should read a little about something about sales because you want to have more control of your life and what you're doing. Why leave other people, uh, leave your faith and your finances in other people's hands? And that's what's going on nowadays. Uh, with people getting let go left and right and they're begging for their job and they're scared because they never developed anything where they added value for themselves. You know, everyone sees sales and they might think of someone who's sneaky. And I don't, I don't see that. I mean, of course you have that, but you have something like that in every profession, no matter what it is. But that doesn't mean that just because you're a salesman, you have to be sneaky. But develop and master your craft where you add value to yourself, where someone can't let you go. Or if someone doesn't let you go, it's their mistake. Now you go somewhere else to get hired and do better. Or even better yet, you go somewhere else. Excuse me, you go somewhere else. Um, jeez, repeating it. You actually start up your own business and have them regret it. And that's why I think everyone should do read uh, read a sales book. Just to add value for yourself, to give yourself more confidence because you never know when you're gonna need it. And another book that I'm reading as well, I'm surprised I haven't fallen off yet, is something called Unshakable Swagger. It was actually recommended to me by my coach, uh, my life coach, my mentor. I always recommend someone like that. If you need one, let me know, I can introduce you. Because everyone needs one. Um, this book is uh, Unshakable Swagger, and it just talks about how being confident in every aspect of life. Uh, just talking to people, keeping eye contact, shaking hands, standing tall, standing firm. Because um, a lot of people, you know, we do lack confidence, and even for myself, and that's why I wanted to read the book. Obviously, there's some aspects where I feel more comfortable than others, but you want it to be where you're confident all the time, 100% of the time. Like right now, being confident that I won't fall off the treadmill while I'm trying to talk to everybody. Um, but it's not live, so even if I do fall off, it doesn't matter, I won't, I won't air it. But that's Unshakable Swagger. Um, it's actually called The Man's Guide to Being Confident, but there's a lot of stuff in there for everyone to read it. Uh, male, female, it doesn't really matter. 
you just put it to to your uh, to your situation or situations um, it goes over a lot of things that even as parents like myself there's some mistakes that I know that I do where you want to be overprotective for your, your children um, but what it actually does for you is uh, it puts a stimulus on them for almost for the rest of their life where they might be hesitant or not confident in something. Um, something that you have to read, you'll understand where I'm coming from, I'm not you know, telling you to put your kids in danger because I wouldn't do that myself. Uh, but there's just a lot of aspects where we might blanket them a little too much and it stays with them for a long time. And that's why you'll see kids I don't know, a lot of people like to talk about millenniums, that, that they're babies and lazy. I mean, they're still babies and they're lazy and this and the third. Guess what? We raise them kids, you know, and that's what we're doing for them. You know, even though they might be three, four, five years old, let them be a three, four, five years old. Don't treat them like a little, like a little infant. So hopefully I didn't go too much of a tangent and you're saying where I'm coming from. And I only expected to do like a one, two minute video, but I guess it went a little bit longer than I thought, but um recap everyone should read a sales book not just because of sales for uh, sales for money but just how to carry yourself present yourself add value to yourself and make it hard for someone to say we can't get rid of this person because this is what value they bring to this company and i want to keep him or her so it's not just money but it's just adding value to yourself and an unshakable swagger it's a great book about confidence. I think it's going hand in hand. And whatever you decide to do, master your craft. Master, read. Go to seminars and meet people in your profession to learn. And uh, go, you know, go reach up. That's another thing is to reach up. Don't hang out with your friends and try to learn something that they're not doing. Go to people who are masters in their craft and their position and learn from them. Alright, I'll talk to everybody later. Bye.